What's going on guys? We are back here again today for another video. Welcome back to the channel guys. On this episode, we're going to go back once again and reflect on past gear purchase history. We're going to be talking about likes and dislikes for another specific brand and model of guitar. So without further ado, let's get into it. So today we're going to be taking a look at Ormsby guitars. You guys know Ormsby makes some pretty interesting, unique, modern designs. Australian-based company. Ormsby has definitely grown in popularity amongst the modern guitar community, so be sure to check them out, read a little bit more about the history of the brand. All right, so the model that we're gonna be looking at is going to be the Ormsby Hype GTR, which I'll be sure to share some photos with you guys. I've had two of these models, and unfortunately, for various reasons, I did sell both guitars. So let's go ahead and unpack the pros and cons, likes and dislikes, and what ultimately caused me to make the decision to sell both of these guitars. So starting off with the design of the guitar, you guys can clearly see Ormsby is basically like another take on the Black Machine guitars, which if you haven't heard about Black Machine guitars, definitely read a little bit more about that. A very cool, unique boutique builder does not currently offer any more production for Black Machine. So some companies have developed kind of their own rendition on the Black Machine style guitar, Ormsby being one of them. I really like the unique harpoon style headstock. I definitely think that gives it a very aggressive modern look. Very cool, definitely similar to, again, that Black Machine headstock design. They've got a great variety of different finishes, a lot of bright, interesting colors, lots of exotic woods. They've got a really nice assortment of different kind of like ocean sort of vibes. A lot of their models will have like sharks, which look super, super cool. A lot of like different colors where you'll have almost like a, a cool fade where it's like kind of the, the ocean to the sand, sort of like a, a beach theme. A really interesting collection just looking at all these vibrant colors. Like many other brands, of course, Ormsby does offer their top tier, their boutique level Australian made guitars. And of course, they also have their import line coming from World Music Korea. Now, the two models that I had were out of the World Music Factory in Korea. And just like anything else coming out of that factory, great, great, great quality, no issues. I would say just really, really impressive standard of workmanship for an import model guitar. Both Hype GTR models that I've owned came out of run number six. This particular run all had chambered bodies, which was pretty cool. I like the fact that this guitar having that chambered swamp ash coming in at just under seven pounds for six strings. So very lightweight indeed. As far as sound, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, guys. These instruments are definitely built for your extended range chugs. Definitely looking for some pretty heavy, massive tones with the right setup. So really no complaints, again, when it comes to the sound. Okay, so overall, a really, really cool brand, very cool guitars. I definitely have a lot of positive to say about these instruments. Let's go into a little bit more specific detail about some of the drawbacks and issues that I found within these models. Okay, so starting off with the multi-scale. You guys know Ormsby as a brand. Most of their models are really built around that multi-scale concept. For those of you guys that don't know, a multi-scale guitar is going to have a longer scale length on the bass side and a shorter scale length on the treble side. So obviously this is going to allow for increased tension for lower tunings, better intonation, better setup, all those types of things. If you want a little bit more information, be sure to leave a link down below if you want to read more about the ups and downs of multi-scale guitars. Now, on the specifics of the Hype GTR in the six string, these guitars have a pretty aggressive fan when it comes to the contrast in the short side and the long side. So we're dealing with a 25 and a half inch scale to a 27 and a half inch scale. So we're talking a two inch difference. Now, this is great when it comes to just getting that maximum tension on that low E but it does come with the price. The trade-off is that because of that extreme fan, it can be very awkward when you're fretting around that first fret. What'll happen is you're moving around the fretboard and you find yourself, your hand will wanna kinda catch on the nut because it's at such an extreme angle. So this can be problematic for some people when getting into multi-scales. In my experience, having bought and sold quite a few different ones, I find myself a little bit happier with something that's a multi-scale, but a little bit less aggressive. Uh, for example, this guitar right over here, this OD Venus has a 25 and a half to a 27. So 
again, not quite as aggressive as the Ormsby. Another example being Kiesel, they do a 25 and a half to a 26 and a half scale difference, which makes for a comfortable playing guitar. It's not nearly as extreme as far as that angle for the nut. Okay, on to the neck shape. Now, across different runs, different production lines, you can see their neck shape has kind of changed over the years. Some of them are gonna be a little bit thicker, some of them thinner. From the information that is visible on their website, going into the specifics of the actual profile for the necks. This one is listed as 19 millimeters at the first fret. So I would definitely consider that to be fairly thin. So the overall like neck dimensions from what you could tell on paper look to make for a fairly thin neck. Again, 19 millimeters at the first fret. And really what it comes down to is it's not so much the actual measurements of the neck, a lot of it too, which can affect just the overall comfort and playability is how much shoulder you have on the neck profile itself. Now, in my experience owning these two guitars, I found that because it's a very chunky D shape, there's a lot of shoulder on these necks. So once you kind of move up to about, I would say probably around like that seventh to kind of 10th fret, you really start to feel just the chunkiness like on the side of the neck. I like a classic C shape. I like a thin C, a thin flat D, again, like the OD Venus over here. A very comfortable D shape, a very thin, very flat. You don't really have that big chunky shoulder on there. So it just makes for a much more just comfortable playing experience. So for me, the Ormsby, again, just too much chunk on that shoulder profile with the necks just didn't really work for me. Now with the Hype GTR having that black machine style shape. You don't really get much of a forearm contour as far as like the top of the body. It does have a little bit of like a bevel which makes it a little bit more comfortable than say like a true flat like slab top. However, the back was lacking a body contour which I just found it to be not super comfortable. I'd really like to see more modern day ergonomics again with a modern brand like an Ormsby. Just something about it just didn't really sit comfortably against the body and just was kind of off-putting. Wasn't a big fan of that chunky, that slab feel on the back. The next issue I had with these particular models is on these guitars, again, this particular run, the output jack is actually where like your strap button would normally be. So it's unfortunate that they put it here on these particular runs because if you were to sit and say like a a classical playing position where you have the body of the guitar rest on your left thigh, assuming you're a right-handed player. In that case, the output jack would actually be resting on like the inner part of like your right thigh. So therefore, there would really be no possible way to plug in the guitar and play like in a classical position. Or, I mean, I guess you probably could, but you'd be kind of like, your leg would be wedged between like the side of the body and like the output jack. And I suspect that would probably create some issues with like kind of moving the jack over time. So not really the best design there. I do know that some of their newer, more current models, it does appear that they have relocated the output jack to resolve this problem. So for me as a guitar player, perhaps some of these things might be a little bit particular. A lot of this stuff is subjective. It's going to come down to your individual personal preference. Basically my rule of thumb with guitars is if there's more than like two things that just kind of irritate me, pretty much at that point, the guitar is gonna get sold. So being that we're talking, you know, the neck shape, the multi-scale fan, the lack of the contour, the output jack issue, you know, we're talking about four things. And for me, it's just like, yep, it's not gonna work. Because the thing is, when it comes to a guitar, in a perfect world, right, you wanna eliminate irritation. You're gonna get a lot more enjoyment out of the guitar if you walk up to your rack, you pick one up, and it's just, it's lightweight, it's comfortable, it's ergonomic, and you just don't feel like there's any irritation, you're not fighting with it. So again, for me, if all these things kind of stack up with these irritations or inconveniences, it's gonna get sold. That's just how it is. So going forward, if there were to be some revisions made to the Ormsby Hype GTR, obviously a better neck shape, just kind of slim that thing down a little bit, less of a shoulder on the profile. If we can get a better body contour, obviously less of an extreme fan on the multi-scale, that would definitely make for a pretty desirable instrument and I would definitely consider revisiting the brand. So those are all my thoughts, likes, dislikes, pros and cons. Be sure to share your experience in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate all support. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.